Hi, I would heartily welcome all of you to our YouTube channel, Think Smart, and this is Mastanda Naidu. Today we are going to discuss Class 10 Physical Science Chapter, Acids, Bases, and Salts. It belongs to Chemistry, and this is Session 1. The objectives of this session are listed here. First, to know the response of various laboratory substances with indicators. Next, to know the response of various laboratory substances with olfactory indicators. Then, to know that hydrogen gas will be liberated along with a salt when acids react with metals. And to know the result of reaction between bases and metals. We studied already in our previous classes about acids, bases and salts. And we know that acids are sore to taste, turns blue litmus to red. Whereas bases are bitter to taste, turns red litmus to blue and soapy to touch. Some examples for acids H2SO4 and HCl. Some examples for bases NaOH and CaOH taken twice. A person suffering from acidity takes antacid tonic or chewing tablets. Antacid tonic or chewing tablets are basic in nature and neutralize acid. We have two types of acid base indicators, natural indicators and synthetic indicators. Acid base indicators are used to check the nature of solutions. Some examples of natural indicators are listed here. Litmus, extract of red cabbage, turmeric solution and extracts of colored petals of some flowers. On the other hand, methyl orange and phenophthalene are some examples of synthetic indicators. You can see on the screen natural indicator litmus papers. On the left red litmus, on the right blue litmus. Now, other natural indicators are on the screen. First, extract of red cabbage, in the middle, turmeric solution, and on the right side, you can observe extract of colored petals. Here, you have synthetic indicators on the screen. First, phenophthalene solution, next to it, methyl orange solution. You even can see that phenophthalene doesn't change any color of acidic solution but changes the color of basic solution to pink. And remember that phenophthalene is colorless solution. Down, you can see methyl orange which is orange in color of course. Changes the color of the acidic solutions to red and the color of the basic solutions to yellow. Did you know litmus solution is a dye extracted from lichen, a plant belonging to the division of Thallophyta and used as indicator. In neutral solution, litmus color is purple. Colored petals of some flowers such as hydrangea, petunia and geranium are also used as indicators. Now it is activity time. Activity 1. Response of various laboratory substances with indicators. Material required for this activity. We require 4 acids and 5 bases and 4 indicators. Acids Hydrochloric acid, Sulfuric acid, Nitric acid and Estic acid. And the required bases for this activity are Sodium hydroxide, Potassium hydroxide, Magnesium hydroxide, Ammonium hydroxide and Calcium hydroxide. And the required indicators are Red litmus paper, blue litmus paper, phenophthalene solution and methyl orange solution. You can observe the respective chemical formulae of the acids and bases on the screen. Now stepwise procedure. Step 1. Collect the above mentioned acids and bases from the science laboratory. Step 2. Prepare dilute solutions of the above mentioned substances. Step 3. Take 4 watch glasses and put one drop of the solution in each of them and test the solution as follows. Dip the blue litmus paper in the first watch glass. Dip the red litmus paper in the second watch glass. Add a drop of methyl orange to the third watch glass. 
and add a drop of phenolphthalein to the fourth wash glass. Observe the respective color changes. Step 4. Do the same with all the above dilute solutions. We can observe the following color changes in the indicators during the activity. Red litmus shows no change with an acid. Blue litmus turns to red with an acid. Phenolphthalein shows no change with an acid. Methyl orange turns to red with an acid. Red litmus turns to blue with a base. Blue litmus shows no change with a base. Phenolphthalein turns to pink with a base. And methyl orange turns to yellow with a base. When we dip a red litmus paper into acidic solutions, we can't see any change in color of the red litmus paper. This happens for all the acidic solutions. Therefore, we have written no change for the acidic solutions under red litmus paper. When we dip a red litmus paper into basic solutions, the red litmus paper would turn to blue. This happens for all the basic solutions. Therefore, we have written blue for the basic solutions under red litmus paper. When we dip a blue litmus paper into acidic solutions, the blue litmus paper would turn to red. This happens for all the acidic solutions. Therefore, we have written red for the acidic solutions under blue litmus paper. When we dip a blue litmus paper into basic solutions, we can't see any change in color of the blue litmus paper. This happens for all the basic solutions. Therefore, we have written no change for the basic solutions under blue litmus paper. When we have added phenolphthalein solution to acidic solutions, we can't see any change in color of the acidic solutions. Therefore, we have written no change for the acidic solutions under phenolphthalein solution. When we have added phenolphthalein solution to basic solutions, we can see a change in color to pink. Therefore, we have written pink for the basic solutions under phenolphthalein solution. When we have added methyl orange to acidic solutions, we can see a change in color to red. Therefore, we have written red for the acidic solutions under methyl orange. When we have added methyl orange to basic solutions, we can see a change in color to yellow. Therefore, we have written yellow for the basic solutions under methyl orange. So far we have discussed about some acid based indicators which show change in the colors. Now we will discuss about olfactory indicators which show change in the orders. Activity 2 Response of various laboratory substances with olfactory indicators. We have mentioned clearly what are olfactory indicators under key point here. Substances whose order changes in acidic or basic media are called olfactory indicators. Material required for this activity onion, clean cloth, plastic bag, dilute HCl, dilute NaOH, vanilla essence, and chloroil. Stepwise procedure Step 1 Put some finely chopped onions in a plastic bag along with some clean cloth. Step 2 Tie up the bag tightly and keep it overnight in the fridge. The cloth strips can now be used to test for acid or base. Check the order of the cloth strips. Step 3. Keep two strips on a clean surface and put a few drops of dilute HCl on one strip and a few drops of dilute NaOH on another strip. Step 4. Now rinse both the strips separately with distilled water and again check their order. Step 5. Check the order of dilute HCl and dilute NaOH by taking them into two different test tubes and by adding vanilla essence and chloroil separately. The following observations can be made during activity. In general, the order of the olfactory indicators would be changed when they are treated with the basic solutions. 
in general the order of the olfactory indicators would not be changed when they are treated with the acidic solutions now you can see some olfactory indicators they respond with acids and bases on the screen it's very clear from the screen that olfactory indicators retain their smell with acids and lose their smell with bases you can now understand that how we had to do during the activity 2 chopped onions closed in covers and kept in fridge can be used as olfactory indicators you can see a clear picture of this on the screen right now there are other two olfactory indicators vanilla essence and clove oil which can be used as olfactory indicators you can see them on the screen now it is time for lab activity we know very well that aim material required procedure with figure precautions observations and the result are the integral parts of the lab activity first aim the aim of the lab activity is to know that hydrogen gas will be liberated along with a salt when acids react with metals material required dilute hcl zinc granules test tube delivery tube glass trough soap water candle and rubber cork a step wise procedure step 1 take about 10 ml of dilute hcl in a test tube and add a few zinc granules to it observe the changes in the test tube step 2 pass the liberated gas using a delivery tube through the soap water observe the bubbles formed in the soap water step 3 bring a burning candle near the gas filled bubble and observe what happens you can see a clear label diagram of this lab activity on the screen you are supposed to arrange the apparatus as shown in the picture precautions handle the acids carefully wear gloves mask and goggles during the activity arrange the apparatus correctly and follow the step wise procedure this is the chemical reaction that takes place in the test tube in between hydrochloric acid and zinc granules 2 hcl plus zn gives zn cl2 plus h2 hydrochloric acid and zinc granules gives zinc chloride and hydrogen gas these are the observations during the lab activity zinc metal reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid and liberates hydrogen gas bring a burning candle near the gas filled bubble it would be burning with a pop sound as the gas liberated there is hydrogen generalization when acids react with metals they always give us salt and hydrogen gas the result of the lab activity we have experimentally verified that hydrogen gas is liberated and a salt is formed when acids react with metals so far we have discussed the reaction of acids with metals now in activity 3 we would discuss reaction of bases with metals if we repeat the procedure of the above lab activity reaction of acids with metals with bases we would get the same result that is a salt and hydrogen gas however this doesn't happen with all the metals chemical reaction 2 naoh plus zn gives na2zno2 plus h2 sodium hydroxide plus zinc gives sodium zincate and hydrogen gas generalization when bases react with metals they give salt and hydrogen gas remember this is not for all the times it's time for review so far we have discussed about the response of various laboratory substances with indicators about the response of various laboratory substances with olfactory indicators about that hydrogen gas will be liberated along with a salt when acids react with metals about the result of reaction between bases and metals
for watching session 1 soon we would present session 2 thank you